Hi everyone, I'm participating in another challenge today. August is my month for challenges and this challenge is really, really, really cool because it is an international challenge and it is sponsored by six different YouTubers and they're from all over the world. So I have my little notes here. It is first sponsored by Mom from Mom Das, Mom Das Live Handmade and she is in India. How cool is that? And the second sponsor is Jannie and Diane from Deco Easy in the Netherlands. And I have recently been to the Netherlands. I stayed in Amsterdam and I traveled around and it is just beautiful. Now, India, I've never been to that magical place. I would love to go someday. The third sponsor is Pat from Style with Pat. And she is in Singapore. Never been to Singapore. Would love to go. The fourth sponsor is Ruth from Kentucky Fried Fun. She is in Kentucky and I have been to Kentucky quite a lot. I have cousins. I have an aunt and uncle there and they have the best sweet tea in the world. Fifth sponsor is Shell from Shell's Glam Home in Australia. Would love to go there someday. Sixth is Kiki from Kiki's DIYs and she's in Puerto Rico. I've been there a little bit. I would love to go back. A beautiful, beautiful place. So let me get started. I created this wreath. This was really created for Mrs. B, a lovely friend of our family. She's a very, very gracious host. Very, very smart, lovely lady. This is a gift for her. And this wreath, I think, is kind of indicative of what we do in the States here. I'm in the Northeast. I'm actually in New Jersey. And we love these types of fall colors. And we are all about pumpkins in the fall. So I will link in the description below uh, a link to all of these lovely ladies, their channels, so you can check them out and check out everyone else's entries. And I am still new to YouTube. Oh, and also, this is my hobby. I love doing these types of projects. If you like to see other ideas like this, please give me a um, thumbs up and think about subscribing. So thanks so much for watching. Hey everyone, I'm gonna get started on a new wreath today. I'm so excited. This is gonna be such a great project. I'm gonna start with a uh, 24 inch grapevine wreath that I just got 40% off at Michael's What A Deal. I think it was about $6.99 because it was already on sale, but um, great sale. I am going to use another one of these foam letters. I got this at the Dollar Zone, and I like it because it's light. When I glue it on here, it's not going to move. But look, this this color, it's atrocious. I don't know why it comes in this blue. It's just, it's just ugly. So I'm going to sand a little bit of this glitter off, and then I'm going to paint it a little bit of an off-white color because I want it to kind of match these little mini pumpkins that I just got at the Dollar Tree. They're just too cute. And I'm gonna try to do a little bit of the speckled, uh, kind of that kind of brownish, dark reddish color. This is about the color. It's just a little bit off-white has a little bit of that chocolate paint and I'm using acrylic paint again. And this is the white. And neatness counts. I'm giving this as a gift so I want it to look really nice so I'm going to do the back as well. So I'll have to let it dry and then come back. So I have three different ribbons. I'm gonna start with this plaid, the largest on the bottom, and then this uh, natural colored burlap as the second one, and then this really, really cute polka dots. I love polka dots and plaid. So I'm gonna layer all three of these and make two ribbons for this wreath. This wreath is so big. Two nice bubbly ribbons are gonna look so pretty.
Okay, so I've completed two ribbons and I basically have everything held together with just the one piece of jute twine because I just find that's really easier to hold and to pull really, really tight. So this is just one ribbon that turned out to be a little bit bigger and the other one is a little bit smaller. I've used all three rolls of the ribbon and I'm gonna dovetail the ends and then I like to just kind of zigzag my my tails I like to keep the tails kind of short and just kind of zigzag those crimp them a little bit at the end so I'm gonna put the two ribbons on I've attached the ribbons one's a little high one's a little low and I just quickly um, secured them with the string on the back and I am going to add some more glue underneath here to really keep them secure and now the fun part i'm going to add my flowers i have some really traditional very beautiful picks from the dollar tree this kind of rust gold a little bit of these hydrangea with this little burlap petal there and some um bittersweet place this bittersweet on this side of the wreath here so it gives the bee which is coming soon like a little nest a little spot to to sit in So to get my splatters, I'm just using like a little scrub brush and I dipped it in a little bit of the paint I was using before and I'm just spraying it a little bit and I love the effect. This is really neat. I think I'm going to do it with a little bit of light and a little bit of darker to give it a little bit little bit of variety in the texture. Who is chewing on the ribbon spool? Oh, oh, you. So that wraps up my project. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for visiting Jenny's home. Bye-bye.